Hello friends, today we will look into item 5 of Effective Java. This is regarding preferring the dependency injection to hardwire the resources. Let us see an example. So here I have a class spell checker. Basically what it does is it will check whether a given a word is valid or not. If there is a typo in a word it will give the suggestion with a list of words. Basically for these operations it will use the resource as dictionary. In this case we have a dictionary as Oxford dictionary. So this all looks fine. Let us say I want to unit test this class. In that case I have to assume that I will be using Oxford dictionary to do these operations. But in the unit test I may use some mock dictionary for example. So that is not possible here. So unit testing is very difficult with this kind of approach. Here in this case it is a static utility class wherein, wherein we have a tightly coupled resource. In the second approach, let us see this is a singleton class. Similarly to the previous example we have a dictionary and uh, we are having some operations over it. So here also uh, we have a dictionary which is tightly coupled to Oxford dictionary. So even in this case testing this class will be very difficult because here we are assuming that this, this will be using always the Oxford dictionary. So you may argue that I may be introducing a setter method here. So sure we can uh, introduce a setter method to set different dictionary. The problem with that is that will make this class mutable. When there is a mutability, it will introduce, there are high chances of getting uh, issues with that approach. Let us say in the setter method you may say Oxford dictionary and you will use it and uh, let us say another uh, class which will set it to let us say Cambridge dictionary and that that means uh, the resource is changed and you may be using in your API assuming that it is all uh, still using Oxford dictionary but it is already changed to Cambridge dictionary. So there is a high chance of errors in that case. So what is the best approach for this? So another very simple and best way uh, to do the, uh, introduce the induce the resource is uh, by passing the resource in the constructor. So let us say I create an instance outside um, the instance of dictionary and pass the dictionary instance reference in the constructor. So this approach is called dependency injection. Basically I am injecting a dependency dictionary through the constructor. So what is the advantage of this? So here nowhere it is tightly coupled with any particular type of dictionary. If I want to introduce another type of dictionary I can sure I can introduce and pass through spell checker. So by this approach testing is uh, very much easy. So dependency injection or DI is equally applicable to constructors as we saw in this example and uh, same way wherein we, we create an objects. So there are different approaches of creating objects uh, as we have saw in earlier items like static factories and builders. So DI is applicable in those cases also. So let us see an example uh, wherein we are having DI through factory. So in this case I am having a, a tile factory. So basically here I am using a supplier interface. So it is a supplier is a Java 8 uh, interface uh, using which uh, we can get an here in this case we are getting an object which is of type tile. So in this case we are getting the tile 1. So if you see here so tile is an uh, class and tile 1 is extending a tile. So as you can see here we are passing uh, factory 
here in the constructor and what we do is we, we just call the get method on this supplier and we get the reference the actual object creation will be done here which is outside the constructor so basically we are passing the resource we are inducing the dependency through the constructor So advantage as uh, we saw it greatly improves the flexibility and the reusability and testability. So I can pass the tile or tile 1. So there is a lot of flexibility over here and even the testing part. So I need not uh, actually use the actual type of tile. I can use the mock tile uh, for testing the class so although there are lot of advantages with uh, dependency injection but there is one obvious disadvantage with uh, large projects uh, like there could be uh, a lot of uh, dependencies and it can uh, clutter up the projects but uh, as of now it won't be a problem because of uh, many new frameworks like spring uh, so if we are using spring so it uh, inherently provides a dependency injection and through which we can avoid a lot of clutter in the projects so it is always a good choice to have the dependency injection and uh, have the resources passed through the constructor and remember we have to create the resources first which is outside before passing them to the uh, constructor so as you can see uh, what Joshua Bosch has uh, recommended is to use the framework such as Tagger, Use or Spring so you can refer these uh, frameworks for dependency injection I think that's it for this item you will see in the next item thank you